1885, developer John L. Cochran began buying land along the North Shore. It was the beginning of the Edgewater community. The reason that he purchased the land to begin with was because there was a railroad that began in 1885. And so it was the Evanston division of the in Chicago, Milwaukee, and St. Paul. And I doubt if he would have purchased the land had the railroad not come through because it offered access to the city and transportation out. So he advertised his community having the advantages of country living but close to the city. So seven miles from City Hall. When visiting the Edgewater community, one of the first stops you want to make is to the Edgewater Historical Society located at 5358 North Ashland. Housed in an old fire station, the society and museum will give you a feel of how this community came to be and how it has grown to become the interesting and diverse area it is today. Our job is to preserve artifacts and materials about this community, and there's a lot of information about Edgewater. Edgewater was annexed as part of the Lakeview Township into the city of Chicago through a large incorporation of suburban areas in 1889 in anticipation of the Columbian Exposition. In 1980, Edgewater officially became Community Area 77 within the city of Chicago. Edgewater is bordered by Foster on the south, Devon on the north, Ravenswood on the west, and Lake Michigan on the east things about Edgewater which we find very interesting that we think are of interest to people who don't just live in Edgewater. Uh, we're proud of the fact that uh, Hillary Clinton, our current Secretary of State, was born in Edgewater and she lived here for the first two or three years of her life. Uh, the famous TV character, the Lone Ranger, grew up here in Edgewater and was a graduate of Senn High School. Uh, Edgewater has had two mayors who lived in Edgewater, Mayor William Dever and Mayor Kennelly, Martin Kennelly, both of whom lived in Edgewater. So there's a lot of interesting citywide history that we think is important. One of the most popular historical sites in Edgewater was the Edgewater Beach Hotel. Built in 1916, it stood on Sheridan at Berwyn. It was a resort complete with a beach and boardwalk. VIPs, politicians, presidents, and stars stayed at this elaborate hotel. Business began to go down with the 1951-54 extension of Lakeshore Drive from Foster to Hollywood, cutting off the hotel from the beach. It closed and was demolished in 1967, but the memories live on in the minds of many Chicagoans and in the pictures and artifacts on display at the Edgewater Historical Society and Museum. Before leaving the area, take time to visit a few of Edgewater's famous places, such as the Pink Edgewater Beach Apartments and the Broadway Armory. You will also want to check out the Bryn Mawr Historic District. Declared a historic district in 1995, it is the home to several buildings listed in the National Register of Historic Places, such as the Mansion at 29 West Bryn Mawr and the Bell Shore Apartments, which was built in 1928 and whose look was influenced by the Egyptian Art Deco movement. A number of family-oriented beaches run up the shore in Edgewater. Bring your swimsuit and sunscreen to enjoy a day by the lake at one of these beaches, the Kathy Osterman Beach. While you're in the area, stop into the shops in Andersonville or visit the Swedish American Museum to learn about the history of this community that was once home to Chicago's Swedish immigrants. To find out more about places to go and things to do in the Edgewater and Brimmore Historic District, visit ExploreChicago.org.